everyone. I've been watching a lot of planner videos recently on YouTube and I love it. I love watching everyone else explain their system and show their collection and I just love understanding other people's thought processes and why they choose the planners and the planner covers that they do. One thing I've noticed is lacking is cork covers. Um, I personally am a massive long-term fan of this small one woman, uh, so far one woman company in um, the UK, uh, a lady called Marta. She goes by the name of Dacasca on Etsy and you can also find her on Instagram. She's not the only person who makes planner covers out of cork. I know there is somebody in, the, in America as well. I think she's called Documented Journey. Um, but for me, if trying to buy sustainable and shop local and all the rest of it and using ecological cruelty free, uh, what you call it, materials, um, Dacasca and her work is an absolute no brainer for me. It's not, I will say, and I'll come back to this, it's not that I don't like using leather or I can't use leather for any reason. I'm vegetarian, but even then, sort of, you know, if the meat's been raised nicely and had a, the meat animal has had a nice life, I will eat it. I'm not, uh, I'm, I'm definitely not vegan. I may be one day, but right now I'm not choosing cork covers for vegetarianism reasons. I'm choosing them because they are absolutely bloody brilliant. And so this video is about how great they are and um, why I would recommend them even if you are a leather fan as well. So um, Marta and De so Dacasca, Marta who runs it, she did not pay me to make this video. I am just doing this out of sheer enthusiasm and she doesn't even, Marta doesn't know that I'm making this video. Hi Marta if you do see this, um, I hope she is not too embarrassed when she realizes how much I've been gushing on YouTube about her work. So what I'm going to do is long term review first. So I will explain what I've got here, why I bought, you don't need to know why I bought them. You're a planner fan. You know why I would buy extra planners. Madness is why. Uh, but I will explain what I've got, what it holds. And then I'm going to do a mini unboxing because I haven't actually opened my latest folio yet that Marta just sent me. So yeah, so let's get started. So I've got four here already. I've already bought four of these Dacasca covers. They cost less than leather for sure. I mean, you can go on her Etsy shop and see what the prices are like. They're still, they seem pricey for a cover, especially if you think in, if you're thinking in terms of, okay, leather, luxury leather products will be more expensive. Oh my gosh, why does this cork cover cost? Like, I don't know, you might pay, I can't remember, but might maybe 40, quid GBP for something hand stitched. Um, I would say um, here are some reasons why they are worth the money. Number one, they just bloody last forever. I'm very sorry if you have kids in the room and I keep swearing, but yeah, they last forever. They don't change. They don't patina like leather does. This is from 2019 and it's now 2022. I've held this Hobonichi Weeks cover in my grubby paws every single day since I got it. I use it constantly. My Hobo Weeks is my brain extension. I do my daily micro journaling in here. I decorate it. I shove stuff in these um, cuts that I actually made myself. I, I cut these in into the sort of folio flap, if you like, myself with a craft knife. Uh, cut it quite close actually. There's a few millimeters here, maybe half a centimeter between these two. They don't rip, it doesn't tear, it's completely water resistant. I do tend to stain it with makeup sometimes. You'll see this on several of my of my Dacasca covers. And look at that sparkle! Look at the sparkle! It shows maybe a bit less on the olive, but the dark colors, gosh! Um, so yeah, uh, you can tell how enthusiastic I am about these covers. They are squidgy. If you haven't held one of these, I just, I'm trying to show you on camera um, how squidgy this material naturally is. Now, partly this is down to Marta's own innovation, which I think is genius. She has, if you like, emulated leather a little bit by having, I'll show you on, a, on, a, on my plainest one. This is my Kahir Traveler's Notebook with Oh, just bumped my tripod with four elastics. Um, <clears throat> pardon me, I don't edit, so sorry about the coughing. Um, she's she has at some point realized that if you combine this uh, kind of water waterproof, frankly, leather-like cork exterior, which is basically a slice of the cork oak tree from Portugal, uh, with if you combine it with 
uh, another Portuguese material, which is, I believe it's pronounced burel, burel, um, which is this traditional Portuguese woven, woven felty. I mean, it's woven, but then felted. If you, if I'm looking closely, I would guess that it's woven first and then it's been somewhat felted to make this, well, very kind of leather adjacent structure. So yeah, it doesn't look like leather, but if you squidge it, it's, I mean, compared to, I happen to have this Chic Sparrow handy, compared to fairly squidgy leather like Chic Sparrow's creme brulee, it just doesn't compare to the cork and burel. This is so soft and yet completely sturdy, indestructible. The things I've done to these planners, guys, honestly. So yeah, I've had this forever, three years rather. It's not quite forever, but it's just, it just doesn't change. It's exactly like it is the day I got it. Actually, no, that's a lie because I modified it. This was a Hobonichi Weeks double loop pen closure. If you know, if you just Google Hobonichi cover, you'll see what I mean. Um, so I carefully undid the stitching and made my own snap fastener. But even that, I mean, look at this material. Okay, fine. After three years, there's a tiny bit of crackling here but not much and it's just it's just not changing it's i i use it every day really heavily and i don't baby it as they say and it's fine the next one i bought about well a few months later i thought i was going to use this well i did use this as a work planner for a while i had like a moleskin planner one of those chunky planner notebooks in there at the moment i'm just keeping kahir inserts in it the reason i don't use this one much is that it was a bit of an experiment on my part. I wanted to see what the ones without stitching were like. Um, I actually would say if you use them heavily and you don't um, invest in one where you have her hand stitched edges, they do eventually come apart a tiny bit. Um, but both of the materials are such good quality and so sturdy that you could still use this for years and years. And it just nothing is there's nothing to come apart if if you like. It's not going to. It's still going to keep your inserts dry and happy and safe, and it's still squidgy. Um, but I would just say, if you're looking at the prices and thinking, wow, so expensive, I'll get one without stitching, I would suggest do get one with stitching because you just will use it for years. I, I desperately seek reasons to get new planner covers because these ones that I have, just they're just perfect. I just realized I'm wobbling the camera like crazy. Sorry about that. So I did use this one. It was kind of, I called it my work Bible. It was really chunky, uh, it worked very well. Um, I've taken the elastic off to use it for something else. And actually my longer term plan with this one is I'm gonna try standard size. So I'm actually going to, sorry guys, sorry, Marta. I'm gonna slice your work. So I'm gonna slice this um, to just to try out and see if I like the Traveler's Notebook standard size. And if so, then, ha, then I'll be back to your shop. Anyway. This is my absolute favorite. This is one that I I thought for a long time, I thought long and hard about the structure of this, like the layout of this one. It's a hybrid folio traveler's notebook in A5. It currently houses my uh, A5 Leuchtturm hardcover, <clears throat> pardon me, and a rough insert. So what I do is I have the Leuchtturm in the back and I have the, um, I either clip or washi tape the Leuchtturm to the other insert. The reason for that is, unlike a traditional traveler's notebook where everything lies flat in every insert, um, in a hybrid, it drives me crazy. I don't know how everyone on YouTube does this. I see lots of people with a Leuchtturm on a string and then other stuff on a string. There's always a bump, you know, that means that the other insert doesn't lie flat and that drives me crazy. So this way, find a blank page, this way, by attaching these inner covers, this is always flat and I prefer that. Anyway, that's not cork related, so uh, that's enough of that. So this is, like I said, folio in the back and then in the front I just asked for, well, I asked for two strings and a secretarial pocket and I myself cut this again um, like a maniac with a, wielding a craft knife but it worked very well and again no, no sign of fraying it's just incredible strong stuff so that is my absolute favorite um, and wouldn't you know it I actually ordered myself a chic sparrow just to try it out this appeared on the on eBay in the UK and I thought go on then I'll I'll grab that because people are obsessed with Chic Sparrow. I may end up selling this. I do love it. Like I said, I'm not vegetarian. 
it is very leathery it's very nice it smells nice but by god this is heavy compared to this now i know i know right i know this is like half a centimeter thick or well yeah at least four millimeters thick in the thinnest part so obviously it's going to be heavy I would never carry something like this. I mean, I've, I think I'd break my back. Um, whereas this, I have been known to carry. And it's a really lovely setup. And this is my journal and brain um, extension as well. I then, my fourth Dacasca purchase was this absolutely gorgeous, very simple, very luxurious feeling black um, folio. Now, she lets you choose your colours for stitching and elastics, so I thought, why don't I go for a sort of pinstripey look to put me in the work mode, because <clears throat> I do struggle with that. Uh, so I went for gr matching grey stitching and elastics and um, used this from, yes, yeah, from September 2020 to January 2022. So that'll tell you how long I've had this cover and how long I used it. Um, this houses a 300 and something page Stology notebook. Um, <laughs> that's the way of it, isn't it? You start getting into stationery and you end up buying luxury Japanese products before you know it. This has just been wonderful. And again, there is just, it's, it just doesn't change. It's just beautiful. You hold it constantly. You can even almost see a sort of wood-like pattern on this panel of the cork slice. Um, and and then again, on the inside, you have the, I chose just the plain charcoal colored Burel wool for this. And then I like to add things without actually making holes in stuff. So that's just tucked in the back on a piece of plastic. I have this um, Chinese knot as a little charm. So I really enjoyed this and I enjoyed this so much that I thought for my personal journaling, I might keep things simple as well and order an olive folio. I hope you can hear me over my washing machine. So I am now going to open that folio and hopefully show you how lovely it is to receive a new Dacasca and hopefully not show you my home address there. So she always sends, oh, I love this. I can already feel the squid through the, through the cloth bag. So she always sends, let me just check there's nothing confidential on here. Oh yes. Um, lovely little message from Marta there. She always sends a bag, a lovely reusable linen or muslin bag of some sort. And oh, isn't that gorgeous? Oh, that is exactly what I wanted. Yeah, I, I dithered for a long time and I asked her in the end just to give me slightly lighter stitching. How can I show this without waving it all over the place? I need to concentrate, concentrate on actually filming. So. I asked for, yeah, in the end I asked for just slightly lighter stitching. Where's my camera? And then slightly just matching olive elastic in that lovely. Uh, it's not a TN, it's not a traveler's note, uh, notebook. So there's no elastics on the inside. Oh, look at that. Oh, she's so clever. So it looks like she's started actually attaching the, um, the page marker that comes with it to the upper stitching, which funnily enough is what I've been doing myself with my Dacasca folios and covers. So she saved me the bother there. I don't, because sometimes this just comes loose and then, you know, you can choose, you can either um, stick it in yourself or sew it in. So that's lovely. She, she always sends these coordinating uh, wood and cork and waxed cotton bookmarkers. In terms of plastic freeness, by the way, they're pretty, I mean, it, it's not plastic, right? This is a natural product. It's made of wood. The uh, inside is made of sheep. If you're vegan, you can have cork on cork rather than wool on cork. So you could have like, it would be, see this, this black and cork layer here, I guess glued to the, to another layer of the same material. I personally, I think the sheep, it sounds like those Portuguese sheep are very happy. I'm very happy to, um, support those farmers who are making this absolutely gorgeous comforting woolly um almost dappled material the the um, camera is not showing you at all how warm this color is imagine a much warmer almost yellowish olive tone and then there are kind of rusts and yellows in this um wool burel as well it's just stunning um, but I would say it's not totally plastic free because I believe, let me see if I can show you. So the cork material itself, just for stability, I guess, does come 
with a backing material of what looks like just a sort of simple black synthetic. I think it's a synthetic. Um, hopefully, uh, someone will correct me if I'm wrong, but that means there is a little bit of synthetic material in there. But by God, it's better than plastic. And if you're cruelty conscious, it's definitely better than leather. Although, of course, most cow leather is um, from cows that were eaten for meat anyway. Don't let any company tell you that they're special if that's the case with their leather. Um, so yeah, I am absolutely over the moon with this. As soon as I stop this video, I'm going to go and obsessively put notebooks into it and out of it. It's going to be a very similar fit to this guy here, my black work planner. So I just love this. A5 is my favourite size because it gives me space for my poor old brain to, um, you know, work stuff out. So I've got now I've got kind of natural, uh, kind of foresty olive green folio for my own journaling and um and a black one for future work projects i love it thank you so much marta and um, before i go i am just going to do a quick comparison with some with two famous brands just so that i can put them in the title and attract more viewers and um, so as i said i did buy a chic sparrow because i thought i'd just compare it i just wanted to compare it to my favorite court cover and i'm not that fussed if the leather is second hand which this was so, um, yeah, as you can see, the Chic Sparrow is massive compared to this one. This cork cover does hold the same number of inserts. I think you could easily get four inserts like this um, into here. In fact, what am I saying? I know you can because I've done it. I've used it like that sometimes. This has two elastics, so you could just, you know, use jump bands and have four different inserts in there. Um, the reason I like to use it that way sometimes is I just... I'm a bit obsessed with the Traveler's Notebook system. I just haven't managed to make it work for me yet. I love being able to buy cute inserts from Etsy or where, you know, on my travels and just have them be my journal. Um, but I prefer this to the Chic Sparrow simply because even without the cruelty considerations um, or whatever, if that matters to you, I just think this is, it, it's lighter, it's squidgier. It's um, made by a local maker. I have I don't have to support a, a large and growing American company to um, uh, to uh, get my hands on it. It's just a, a nicer experience all all around. And then the final comparison I want to make. <laughs> you will be shocked at this one, guys. I have compared this on my Instagram before to a Gilio that I bought. I've been kind of desperately trying to com trying to find. Uh, something I can use that's as good as this, just so I can, um, how can I put this? So I can give this a, a break sometimes, you know? Um, it's just wonderful. It opens flat, it's waterproof, it's light, it comes with me everywhere. The Gilio didn't work because it was too big. So I went to the time and expense and the just the waiting time, guys, is mad. I mean, you wait a while for Marta as well because she hand stitches these. Um, but as you probably know, if you're watching this video, Van der Speck, are currently kind of at a, I think it's a sort of three month waiting time. Anyway, <clears throat> possibly more. So I ordered this thinking, surely, surely this will be so beautiful that I will want to use the van der Speck um, as much as I want to use my Dacasca. Guys, I'm actually selling this. I don't think I'm ever going to love this as much as I love my cork cover. Like I know there's a polished look to the van der Speck, right? So the stitching, don't get me wrong, the van der Speck, van der Speck are known and they're famous because they are quite simply the most beautiful planner covers that there are. Um, if you don't know, this is a, a very small, very lovely, very kind, very helpful Dutch, uh, sorry, Netherlands based um, leather working company. Just, just fantastic work. There's, it's flawless. It, they are just absolutely beautiful planners and I will be very glad to sell this to someone who will appreciate it. For me personally, if you could feel the weight of these, um, I, I need I need this light cork, guys. I need the squidge. The van der Speck, I have to say, which for the expense you'd hope, it comes closest to winning my heart away from the da Casca. But it's... Um, it's more money than I can justify for something that doesn't convince me to leave my cork cover.
Obviously, this looks much better the way they, you know, this was planned to have a cork close, uh, to have a popper, to have a snap closure, whereas this is just kind of a cludge that I did. But I, yeah, if you want this, uh, as of April 2022, this is still available. Um, hit me up. It is beautiful, by the way. Absolutely gorgeous planner, of course. But yeah, I am, I think, pretty much permanently a convert to cork covers and I'm so so happy with my new folio delighted with myself and with the the way she packages her orders and everything I hope this has been useful let's put the sheet of sparrow over there I hope this has been useful and inspiring and wish me luck slicing this guy up to make a standard TN I'm a bit scared to be honest cutting up the cork but I've done it before for the pocket um, card slots, card pockets, so I know it'll work okay. And I'm also going to have fun with my new folio. Lovely to meet you guys. If you are fellow planner nerds, do leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. Have you bought a court cover before? Um, did you like it? And yeah, what are your thoughts? Bye for now. <laughs>